Poppy. Welcome back to my channel. As promised in the last few videos, I am finally doing my review and demo of the Peerless watercolors, which I'm excited about. I've sampled all the colors. I'm going to be showing you guys today like my opinion of them, me using them, and then also creating a painting with them, which is really fun. I'm currently working on a collection of watercolors that I'm calling Technicolor Botanical because it's like rainbow versions of cacti and cacti are very trendy right now, yes, but also I'm from Arizona and like God represent, those are like so cool. I just love cacti everywhere. So that's what I'm going to be demoing for you today and you can see that's something you like to buy for yourself. I will link below where I got mine got mine on Etsy, you can also buy them on Amazon and like through the Peerless website directly. It's kind of a weird name, Peerless Watercolors, but that's what they're called and we're going to talk about them today. Also side note, how are we feeling about this lip color? I thought it was like kind of fun. The name is Tequila Sunrise and I was like, ooh, spring break, perfect, but I guess it works. We'll see. Let me know what you think and let's talk about watercolors. Alright guys, so this is what I will be working with today. The first is a small watercolor block. Um, it just is like this and it's nice to paint on and then you can peel off the sheets as you go. This one's by Sennelier, which I believe is a pretty nice brand, but you don't need anything too fancy. I'm using a White Sable Robert Simmons brush and the width is 10 and it's number 785. This is a pretty fat brush, but it's a good all-around watercolor brush to own. I also have this number 6 Golden Edge brush in number 4620, and as you can see, the tip is pretty small, and it's good to get those intricate details in. I have my Peerless watercolors, of course, which is what we'll be working with today. Some water, obviously, and I thought I would show a couple samples of paintings I've already made with the Peerless watercolors. This was my first attempt. As you can see, the colors are very super pigmented, which is awesome. Um, but I'm excited today to kind of dive into the watercolors a little bit more and see what we can do with them. So I purchased this little Peerless watercolors pack on Etsy. A woman cuts out the squares and kind of reassembles them with this sheet and they're easy to use. She also has a color sample below each one. And from what I've seen online, you can also cut a square out and put it in a little cup of water and then make pigmented water. But today I'm going to be just taking my brush and taking the pigment right off of the paper, which is what I've tried to do in the past with these watercolors. And um, I thought first of all, for the tutorial, we would quickly sample all of the colors and I also got a paper towel so that I can clean off my brush in between colors. Okay, so I just finished up all the swatches. As you can see, they're gorgeous. This also makes a really nice card so that it's like a reference sheet to see which colors you want to work with. And like I said, the woman who I bought the kit from already swatched them below the color, but I like having this sheet. And I will probably go in myself and write all the color names below each swatch so that I can find them easily. So as you can see here in my studio, I've been enjoying experimenting with rainbow cacti watercolors. So I think that is what I am going to paint today with the Peerless watercolors for my demo.
this is kind of my first impression painting something a little bit more abstract with the peerless watercolors compared to these where I was trying to get something perfect and I have to say I really love these um, they think they would be great for beginners especially because the colors are already pre-done for you I especially liked that I could touch my brush to two different colors and get the mix right there in my brush right away that was cool I created this um, rainbow saguaro which I think will be a nice little addition to my rainbow cacti collection which is very cool so as you can see I really enjoyed those and I like working with them I plan to continue and I actually keep them right here the reference sheet and the paints in the front pocket of my day designer so they're right there in my day planner all the time and I kind of just like opening it and looking at it because the colors are so pretty and I love rainbow things they are an important part of my toolkit now I need all of the colors so I love them and if you guys like to try them for yourself I recommend checking out Etsy the last time I checked the woman I bought them from wasn't selling any at the moment I think like she has to relist them and make more once they sell out but that little compact card thing was only $10, so it was an awesome option. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I would like to add that if you are interested at all in my Technicolor Botanical collection of these rainbow cacti, I am going to be releasing the collection this week. So if you would like to make sure you get in on that, please sign up for my newsletter. The link will be down below and right here. It's studioskateco.com slash sign up. And I'm gonna be selling the original paintings, so once they're gone, they're gone. I might do prints, but a very limited number, like three or four of each painting. So don't miss out on that. And another highlight of signing up for my newsletter is that I am starting to send out a free painting that you can print out and hang up in your home or you could put it inside your planner anything that you would like do whatever you want with it but it's gonna be really fun and yeah I thought that would be cool what else do I have to say if you have not already please subscribe to my channel join in on the creative fun going on here there's always something new going on and I'm weird so if you like that you'll get to see that and until next time I'm sending you guys positive and creative vibes your way, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.